Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. Download my new weather app to stay ahead of the weather and check road conditions because we have two waves of wintry weather heading our way. And this version, we're going to compare models to show you Sunday's system could have very healthy amounts of snow in portions of the region. I'll have details on exactly where coming up in this version of Hutch's Weather. Now, a Hutch's Weather Update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, thanks for joining me. Thanks to my fine sponsors, Winter Weather Advisory, tonight as we go towards midnight with some little areas of light icing making its way through parts of the valley now. And look what's going on in Montana, heading up to Regina. Another batch of snow and ice along the Highway 1 corridor there. That system will bring a chance for some snow to our region and freezing rain again in the forecast as we go through. To get to those details first, that's something I will do in just a minute. But now we're going to focus a little bit on a model comparison as we take a peek at the different models and what they're expecting for snowfall as we go into Sunday. Now, the event on Sunday and into Monday morning, well, that system could be strong and it could come with a lot of wind as well. We're going to compare these models. I'm going to scoot this over here so we can take a look at the impact area, mainly from the valley and particularly across Minnesota, this eastern part and the central part of the state, picking up some healthy amounts of snow potential as we go through. So in this one, we're going to compare several different models and we're going to start with the European showing healthy snow. And again, at this stage, we don't pay too much attention to the uh, amounts that you see typed on here, seven, eight inches or whatever, but it does give us a uh, potential amount of snow that could fall in the southern half of Minnesota. Look at this, Lakes Country from Bemidji and the Clearwater County area all the way straight down into Lakes Country for Becker and Ottertail County. We could have healthy amounts of snow and wind. So keep this in mind as you're traveling through. That's a European model. What we're looking for at this stage of the game heading Sunday into Monday still far enough out that a lot could change, but we're looking for consistent consistency among models. Here's another model. Ooh, more snow, but a very similar track and a band of heavier snow through western parts of Minnesota as well. The American model moves everything off to the east. Could this happen? Yes, but I tend to lean a little bit more toward the favor of the European model in these situations at this time frame out. This is another forecast model from uh, Germany here, and it's showing a heavier band through southern parts of Minnesota as well into Wisconsin. So it does show similarities. Now, this is a higher resolution model. And again, it's showing very heavy snow uh, all the way from the south shores of Lake Superior through western Wisconsin, northern Wisconsin, and eastern Minnesota with bands of heavier snow moving right through our kitchen here in the valley. So we'll have to keep our eyes on where these bands set up and keep in mind these are also showing a little batch of snow that moves through on your Saturday. More on that in a minute. Suffice it to say that each and every model that we run through is showing a healthy band of snow for the eastern portions of Minnesota into Wisconsin. And several of the models are showing healthy amounts of snow as well as we look into parts of central um, Minnesota and the Red River Valley as well. So keep that in mind as we travel this weekend. Now, what are we expecting for tonight? Here's what we have going on. We do have that icy condition setting up uh, its shop in the northern plains right now with some freezing drizzle and freezing rain making its way in. I'm going to zoom in and you can see here that we do have some of these showers moving in the Red Lakes area in the evening hours and this winter weather advisory is in effect until the midnight hour here and until morning for the Arrowhead of Minnesota, including Kuchiching County, the International Falls area that is, hibbing and on into the Arrowhead of Minnesota. Looking out to the west, a cold air alert out there as we have some mighty cold air temperatures heading in, but not before we get more ice in Scobie, Plentywood, and look at this, the oil patch all the way from Culbertson and Brockton, Montana, right into the uh, Williston area heading into uh, the region. Big time snow potential out in the Sierra Nevada once again, and there is some very stormy weather hitting the East Coast right now from New York to Boston. Winter storm warnings taking place. That's Long Island, folks, and they're getting uh, a very heavy rain. Hartford, Connecticut, all the way to Providence, Rhode Island, as this band of heavy precipitation works its way through, and it's very icy. This is the ice storm that brought us the Christmas Day ice now slamming Harrisburg, Philadelphia, uh, Bloomsburg on out toward the uh, lakes country out here in the Great Lakes region as well with some lake effect snow with that system setting up on the backside here as we go through. So that is a look here. Let's take a peek at what we are expecting to go on as we head into your Saturday. Expect temperatures to be in the teens and 20s, cooler north, slick all over. Just take time. When you're heading out the door on the weekend for any travel at all, there will be some areas that get some icing here in the Valley of Minnesota, as we showed you in the winter weather advisory counties, but also Northeast Montana. And that's going to skirt along the international border counties through the overnight hours. So keep that in mind. 
Then in the afternoon, we start setting up the next weather making system for your Saturday afternoon into the evening. This band of snow will work its way as we go into the overnight hours and by morning, Sunday morning, work its way here into the valley. That's going to bring a dose of some light snow showers to our area. That will combine with another low moving out of Colorado and Wyoming that will move through the central plains and bring up that potential for the heavy snow that I was just showing you. So here's what we're expecting as far as icing overnight. Notice it's not very heavy, but it's going to be insult to injury on area roads from Interstate 94 and points north to the international border. It does include Duluth Superior on up into the North Shore. Snowfall with our round as we go through Saturday, the evening hours and into your Sunday morning. Look at this. Many of you will see an inch, maybe two. Some of you will see two to three inches of snow from that wave of wintry weather, and then the big event hits. Some areas of Minnesota will have the potential for some very tricky travel. Gusty winds out of the north over 40, maybe even over 50 miles per hour for some. Significant snow potential, southern Minnesota and eastern Minnesota, and significant enough snow with the winds that will take place in northwest and central parts of Minnesota to have some impactful conditions there. I'll keep you up to date. Make sure you download Download Hutchesweather.com uh, and go download my new weather app. You'll see the app button right at the top of my website there for you to let me know what you're seeing when it comes to weather in your area. You can upload photos from my new app and get the latest in road conditions anytime, anywhere. For now, have a wonderful Friday night. I'll keep you posted right here. You're watching Hutch's Weather. This has been a Hutch's Weather Update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hello? Wait, you forgot the new app. You're right! Don't forget to download our new app!